Hi, this is Tobias and this is the official screencast for Sibelius Control for iPad. I want to give you a short overview on how to set up the whole thing, how to set up your VNC remote connection and how to install the keypad layout. What is Sibelius Control? Sibelius Control is a control keypad layout. It is designed for Sibelius 7 but you can also use it with Sibelius 6 or 5 or 4. Basically any version of Sibelius, only in some versions you won't have access to all features. For example, the panorama mode wasn't there until Sibelius 5. So of course if you're using Sibelius 4, the button won't do anything. Sibelius Control uses the app Custom Keypad for executing your layout. You can find a link to the app in the video description as well as on my website where you can also download Sibelius Control. Setup is very easy, basically it's two steps. You need to set up your Mac to accept VNC connections and then you need to set up your copy of custom keypad. After you've done that, you can transmit the keypad layout via email to your iPad and basically you're set. Sibelius Control uses the standard keyboard shortcuts for getting your commands to Sibelius. So if I have changed any of the keyboard shortcuts, make sure to reset them to the factory defaults. You do not need to install any drivers or any helper software because Custom Keypad uses VNC connections which are built into your Mac. Okay, there's only one thing you need to set up and that is the VNC remote connection. Just open System Preferences on your Mac, go to Sharing, make sure that screen sharing is checked. We will probably need to log in here. Okay, now we are logged in. Click on computer settings. Check this and enter a password. Do not use your system or administrator password because then you won't be able to connect in custom keypad. Click OK. Now write down that IP address. You'll need to enter that IP address in custom keypad in the preferences pane. That's it. Now you need to connect custom keypad to your Mac via VNC. Open the custom keypad app and click on connections on the lower left. Click the plus sign and tap on new computer connection. Then just enter the name, the host, you can leave the port and the password you specified earlier. Leave the screen resolution to auto. Then click on connect in the top right to connect to your Mac. Now you are ready to install the layout file on your iPad. Grab the .layout file contained in the zip folder and send it to yourself on the iPad. Open the email on the iPad and tap on the attachment. Then choose open with keypad. Custom keypad will then open and load the layout file. I want to quickly go over a few of the functions in CBS control. We'll start with the voice keys up there. If you press them once, you'll enable editing for that specific voice. So if you press the 3 button and enter notes, then we'll go into voice 3. If you double tap any of those buttons, you will select all the notes in that voice in the current selection. So, example, select a passage from your score, press the 2 button twice, double tap it, and all the notes that are in voice 2 are selected. Up here, those buttons open the corresponding windows. Please note, if you're using Sibelius 6 or earlier, the transport button will actually open the playback window. This window was renamed in Sibelius 7. There are a few special buttons which I want to explain. These buttons add the corresponding intervals. So the 3 will add a third above the currently selected node. If you double tap it, it will add a third below the currently selected node. Same applies for the other buttons. There are a few other buttons who have double tap features. 
but to quickly show you those, that's hyphen. If you press it once, you'll get a crescendo. If you press it twice, you'll get a decrescendo. Similarly, the space button, if you press it once, it'll invoke space, it'll send the space button. If you press it twice, it will send shift space, so you can use it to shorten a hyphen or a slur. That button is neat, it opens the inspector, and I like it very much. The backspace button is a bit special. It only reacts if you double tap it. That's not a bug, it's a feature. I included it to prevent accidental deleting of any notes. So if you want to delete anything, double tap backspace. You got a nice big escape button up there. Here you have a joystick, which corresponds to the page up, page down, position one and end buttons on your computer keyboard. So if you move it upwards, you go one page up, one page down, previous page, next page. If you want to zoom in or zoom out, you can pinch in this area, just like you regularly do on the iPad or iPhone. One last feature that saves a lot of time is you don't have to press the command key anymore when entering dynamics. Just press expression, then press the P, the M or the F. So if you want to have mezzo forte, press expression, M, if you don't need to hold down the command key. That's why there is no command key on the keypad layout. Sibelius Control will do that for you. That's basically an overview over the interface. If you have any questions, drop me a line. I'll do my best to answer. And make sure to, from time to time, stop by on the website of Sibelius Control where you can see, find and download new versions. Thanks for watching.